Here I have an MK lighting switch thingy. That's the front of it. You've probably seen these before. Just turns the light on and off. It's meant for emergency lights. It's meant, it's meant to isolate them to test them, as it says emergency light test there. Um, top two terminals are the supply in, and bottom two are the lo and the load. 20 amps, 250 volts, double poled, it's, as you can see there. Uh, this is just the power supply that I use to test stuff with, and that's the socket behind. Um, I got these reduced for, I think, three quid, brand new, which is not bad considering they're, they're much more than that normally. It's just it's just the 12 volt uh, MR16 volt from Wilco's. It was reduced to 50p, that's why I got it. And these are just normal connectors. Um, this is the key that you the key that's used for it. MK fish key. That's what I call them. And as you can see, it just clicks the light on and off. Right, today we'll be looking inside one of them. Here's one of them that I'm already taking apart. It is it is just it isn't that interesting, but you can see what's inside it. I'll get my key, poke it in, you can see it just flicks them two little things up and down, the plungers, I'm gonna call them. Um, MK fixtures are quite universal, I suppose, in their construction because this is a whole grid of them. There was four emergency things up there. They all fit like that. Um, and this is the back of them, as, as you can. Uh, I'm not going to flip it over, but as you can see, they are all just, they are all the same. So I can pretty much take this off and put it onto one of these switches if I wanted to. I've done it before and it, and it does work. So yeah. Um, it, just, it just makes it easier for MK to make more switches, I suppose. Here I have a light switch. It looks like a normal light switch, but essentially an intermediate light switch, which is pretty much used for um, switching where you want three or more switches. So this goes in the middle of the two two-way switches, which I believe are these ones here with three wires. Um, as you can see, again, it's a very similar construction. So I can take this out and put it onto one of these contact blocks here if I wanted to. So yeah, they're very similar construction. Um, here are the contacts, nothing interesting really, but you know, you can see what's inside them I suppose. Just flick them, oh, no, don't be too far. And I've just broken it completely. I'll fix that again. Um, but yeah, the worrying thing is, these two things here are the live and neutral. All that separates these two things is this, is this bit of plastic here, and the middle part isn't even separated. So that would that would go in line like that. So the middle part isn't even separated, which is kind of worrying if you know a big spark comes and it arcs across them too. It, the circuit breaker won't like that, I don't think. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I'll, I'll take the contacts out. Actually, no, oh, I've just noticed that. Um, they're not at the same level, I suppose. So one's higher, one's... One's higher, one's lower, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, that's how they normally go in. Got to make sure I'm doing it on camera and not wherever I'm randomly doing it. Um, like that, that goes in like that. Let's clip this back on. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I know what I've done now, I haven't put the contact back in the right way around. I'll do that later. Here's an intermediate switch. Um, I would try and undo it. There it is. I don't want, don't want to break it because I quite like this intermediate switch. I haven't used it yet. No, I'm, not, I'm never going to get this off, am I? I won't even try anymore now. But yeah, that's the MK lighting switch thingies. Let's just say, say this again. So, what's position? What's position? So, down is on and up is off. Just like, just like these switches, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's it.